This is the stingless bee then, yeah, huh? Yeah, the stingless yes. bee. You were telling me yesterday, this is where the entrance is. Yeah, this is where You were telling me yesterday, uh, your father, which is just this gentleman here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he basically has designed many different... Uh, uh, his own design. Okay, wow. And it's a two-layer box, like uh -huh. we, we used to do in uh, Italian bees and all. Mm -hmm. So here will be the brood chamber. Yeah. And the upper chamber, they will store the honey only. And so you can just easily take the honey yeah, and without even, disturbing the bees. Uh, yes. Uh, we have the, the empty boxes there, we can I have can a look. Just yeah. yeah, let's have a look. Okay. Th this is very interesting. So he's, how many designs has he made now so far? So more than uh, 10 to 12. 10 to 12, yes, yeah. okay. Wow. And this is just to... This is then your... Yeah, it's, uh, it's our name. <laughs> this is the name of your bee farm. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we want to put that. I'll put a link in the description as well for anybody interested okay. to see your website as well. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Ah, this is a pot full yeah, of stingless so bees. Ancient time, all, all, all the people are using the same thing. Ah, and that's the entrance there. You yeah, just saw a bee time. fly out. Uh -huh. Actually, you know, I did hang up one of those pots <laughs> okay, in, okay. on the farm where, where I work, you know, and uh, so far we haven't had any luck with any bees <laughs> going inside. But okay, okay, so you just basically have two halves. Two halves, and we just turn it like this. Ah, very And with some, we put some polish. polish here. Yeah. So it will be pretty tight. Okay, and then they don't have to work, they can just. Yeah. They'll just use the propolis in the crack and just kind of glue it together. Uh -huh. And this is then the entrance, eh? Yes, and this is just a normal pipe? Yeah, it's a normal pipe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Very, very simple. This is how we can keep it. Uh, we are doing farming in open area. Then we'll cover it with... Uh, with some plastic. plastic. Ah, yeah. Okay. That's very really interesting. This is uh, it's also stingless bee. It's a small variety, I told you. Uh -huh. Are there bees in there? Yeah, it's in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's here, there is an, because of the rain season and all, they are not yeah. coming out no, now. Okay. Uh -huh. Maybe after one hour they will come, start coming out. Okay. This also same, I divided uh, around two months before. You can uh -huh. see some bees are... And this is also another variety, so... From... Yeah, it's a small variety. Ah, a okay. Small variety. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wow. So this is the box you were telling me, it's 30 yeah, years yeah, old. Yeah, yeah. And we have another one also, but this yeah, one open. So yeah. basically... You've been keeping stingless bees in this box for 30 years without any problem. Yeah, the same problem. stingless bees. Yeah. It's, it's here with the... Uh, it's 30 years, it's, it's here. So, let's just quickly get back to this. So, this is like 30 years... 30 years old of beehive. And, and they just replace the queen themselves yeah. and you just never have to actually do anything. Like, mm. sometimes with the other bees, Italian, European and yeah. the Indian bee, they can, they can swarm out and yeah. be gone. So, this is amazing. 30 years. And what? this pro uh, honey production capacity is, is uh, 1.5 kg. Okay, wow. Or liter in a yeah. year. Okay, wow. Uh, yeah. Even even uh, two weeks before we collected 1 kg honey, and remaining uh, maybe 500 grams of honey are inside. Still inside, Still inside. Well, yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't sound a lot for most beekeepers, for one yeah. kg, but when you have a couple of hundred hives and the value of this honey is yeah, actually it's very, nice. it's very high, huh? So this is very medicinal honey, huh? Yeah, very medicinal. Mm -hmm. So I'm here now with Binu and basically his father has designed a hive Hi. that helps the beekeeper basically extract honey without disturbing the bees yeah. for the stingless bees. <coughs> Would you like to explain a little bit about it, how it works? It's a two layer PVC. Uh, box mm. and the base level is a brood uh, chamber and mm. upper layer is a, tu a super chamber. Super chamber. Yeah. yeah. In the brood chamber, they will uh, there will be eggs and broods, uh, mm. uh, pollen, nectar, and everything inside. Mm. And from in the super chamber, they will collect the honey and mm. uh, only the honey. So they store the honey in the super, su yeah, super, in the super chamber. chamber. Yeah. Okay. There is no mixture of uh, nectar or pollen in this chamber. So basically just pure honey is stored inside the super in the chamber. chamber. Okay, well, we need only one minute to extract the honey from the super chamber. Okay. Well, that is the main specialty of... And without disturbing the bees. Without disturbing the bees. Mm -hmm. And let me open it for you. Mm -hmm. This is, is the, the brood chamber. We have the Loki system here. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. It's a, let me just bring that a bit closer. So this is where the actual brood would be kept in, yeah. right? It's a three-layer uh, box. Yeah. And the layering is to prevent the heat. Okay. okay. So it's insulated. It it's has like insulated. three layers. Yeah. Okay. Uh, PVC, then some some kind of thermocore, yeah. and it's with the sink. So the brood never get uh, 
contact with the PVC. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. And so that's that. That's the blue chamber. Yeah. And this, you can see some hole here. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. The worker bees can go up. So they come in here. Yeah. They, this is the only entrance for stingless bee. Uh huh. They will come here. They will store the honey. Go, they go up there and they will store the honey up there. Yeah. The super you were telling me this is a this is like a queen excluder. Yeah, is that queen right? Queen excluder. Yes, yeah. Yes. Okay. It prevent queen to go off. Uh huh. So, so you have here a safety kind of yeah, lock, is it? Just safety to... lock. Yeah. So once we remove the safety lock, we can open like this. Uh -huh. Okay. Very clever. So again, you can see some. Yeah. Ah, okay. So the honey is actually this is actually the actual super. Okay. Right. Okay. You can remove the. Yeah. Oh wow! So this is actually where the the honey is stored. So yes. and you were saying that the honey is stored in propolis in yeah, cells. Yeah, propolis. Yeah. Uh -huh. So this would be full of, of honey. Full of honey. Yeah. And, and let me no. just show you as well. Even there is another. This is the queen. Sorry for interrupting. This is the queen excluder. So this is big enough to allow the the worker bees through, but the queen generally won't go up into the super. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again. There is another speciality. What a wonderful design. Yeah. Again, okay. again, another another speciality. We can just open it like this uh -huh. and we can... Just scrape it off. Yeah. yeah. Which we'll see, we'll see a little bit later how we are harvesting yeah. then the yeah, honey, yeah, right? Definitely, definitely. Okay, great. So actually a very ingenious design. Yeah. Simple, but effective. It looks, yeah, it effective. looks to be very, very promising. Um, I can't wait to see how you're actually going to be harvesting the honey as well. After division of this uh, honeybee colonies, yeah. or splitting of honeybee colony, there yeah. is a chance for ant can come inside and attack the bees. And the reason being is because normally you only have what one entrance. Only I one entrance. Imagine now, yeah. okay. Only one entrance. And so the propolis has been disturbed. Yeah, disturbed. So they they need at least 24 hours to recover all. So seal up the, all the gaps all with the propolis. Gaps and propolis. And by that time, if ant come inside, uh, they can kill all the bees. So okay. to prevent that one, we will mm -hmm. keep some water inside. Mm -hmm. So this is hanging in the tree or some, yeah, some place? Yeah, we can hang in the tree. And so the ant can't really yeah. come around yeah. and try and steal more honey yeah. from the brood chamber because you've just taken that. And okay, wow. And another speciality, the size of this hive yeah. is can occupy almost all the varieties of stingless bee. Which, how many are there uh, in there are, Kerala? Uh, yeah, there are around seven varieties of stringless bees are found in Kerala. Uh -huh. I think I have most of the varieties here. And of course they are different sizes, so Size. they will, some will... Some will produce only 100 milli honey, very yeah. small, yeah. and hum, uh, some can produce 1 kg honey. Yeah. If it is 100 milli also, it, it will produce little up, up there. Mm -hmm. okay. Which is a very pricey honey. Yeah, so very pricey honey. So it's uh, one kilo doesn't sound like much, but actually yeah, when yeah. it's uh, worth a lot of money, then it is, you know, so. Okay. So wow, what a clever design. Now, how many goes did he take to make something like this? You were telling uh, me earlier. Uh, he designed... 12, 12 designs or something. Yeah, 12 designs. This one is little bigger size and uh, mm -hmm. the model is almost same. Mm -hmm. And this is aimed only for the bigger bees. So the biggest stingless bees. Biggest yeah. stingless bees. Mm. The one that produces a kg, kg to a kg and a half. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So they have more space inside here and uh, up there also. Okay. Okay, I see that. This yeah. also two layer. That is a little bit bigger, all right? Yeah. Uh -huh. And I like the little. Yeah, uh, this is uh, <laughs> uh, for them to. Uh, the entrance is a rain guard. Uh, this is also a rain guard. It's also a rain guard. Okay, so you're actually protecting it, so you can actually just put it in a tree in somewhere. Trees, yeah. Especially during the monsoon rain. Monsoon where... rain. Okay. Well. A very nifty hive, I must say. I, I take my hat off to you guys. You did a great job on designing something that actually okay. looks like it really works. This is a two layer uh, wooden box for uh, stingless uh -huh. bees. Okay. Uh, you can see. Uh huh. You can see that. This is basically a queen excluder. Yeah, it's basically a queen excluder, like you've seen in PVC hive. Uh -huh. And normally we will keep one uh, plastic or transparent sheet here, mm -hmm. so stingless bees never get contact with the wood. Otherwise, it's yeah, very hard to yeah. take it apart. Take it apart. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So easily we can watch also what is going on. Mm -hmm. If it is transparent sheet, we can watch 
what is going on inside. Ah, so you take the wood off and yeah. then you can look through. Yeah, look through. Okay, good Without idea. Without disturbing the bees. Uh -huh. And yeah. the same way, you can... So you have a little tiny, let me just show you, there's a little tiny hole in there and that's where the worker bees come through. Yeah, yeah, come through. So you can actually just make it out of wood and that would be also a nice uh, resource to reuse. So, okay, so... so this is the log, you can see here. Hold this one. Okay, let me just show the. So here is where you have these lats of wood, and basically they're in that pattern. And the pattern here is like a puzzle kind of wooden thing, and you can just basically slot them together, yeah. and then they just stay. Yeah. This now it doesn't move or anything yeah, like that. Uh, and that's then the entrance. Yeah, that's so where the super, yeah. and that's the build chamber. Yeah. What a good idea! <laughs> huh? Nice design. I like it. It's really clever. Even if you kept some bo uh, glass bottle or something, you yeah. can get honey in that. So you understand? So if it's a glass bottle, right? Or glass bottle, right? So if it's a small, uh, if you only want a small amount of honey, I see you, you've yeah, done something yeah. like that here. Yeah, it's big, big bottle. You can just stick that on top, and then they will just actually fill yeah, that up. Yeah, you can set it like that. Uh -huh. Okay, I see. The propolis itself. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. So you can just sell the actual whole thing. Yeah, this whole thing. That's a clever idea. So you basically can also just <laughs> stick a jar on top and they'll fill it up. Yeah. You take that away. And we just knock. Knock out the bees. And then we close it. And off you go. Uh, this is the stingless beehive. Okay, yeah. And it's a two layer model. Okay. Uh -huh. The base layer is. Uh, Brood chamber and upper upper layer is super chamber. Hmm. Where the super chamber the bees is storing honey hmm. and the the down one is nectar and pollen and the propolis and, and their eggs. And the brood. The brood. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. The normally people uh, those who uh, the stingless beekeepers they are keeping bees in uh, the wooden box. Uh -huh. And there is a big uh, demerit for that. When we collect the honey from wooden box or pot, yeah. okay, the, the infant, uh, there are a lot of in, infant bees. So they there's get a lot of larvae. Larvae. And they will get yeah. killed uh, in the honey. When okay. after collection of honey, there will be small remaining there. They will get killed. So this is separating the brood from the honey super. Yeah. And, and so you actually don't hurt the, the bees, bees at and all. Another merit of this uh, hive is very that good. Yeah. Uh, we can uh, collect easily honey with, without uh, bees won't disturb us. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to collect uh, from wooden box or mm. pottery, we have to disturb bees, they will come to attack us, a lot mm. of hard work. And so, let me just explain as well, it is a stingless bee, but it has a stinger, but it doesn't get through the skin. But what the bees do tend to do is they do go for their eyes, and they try and get into your ears and just disturb you so much that you want to go away, basically. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the, the, carry on here, yeah, please yeah. do, yeah. So, so this is your own design, your yeah, father designed it's, it's this. my father designed After the 12th yeah. goal, he got this. Yeah, what you are seeing is, is small bees. Yeah. Okay. So, wow. can, can you see it? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Let me just get, just bring it closer to the camera if you can. So, so this is the honey chamber. This is the honey chamber. What you are seeing is uh, the honey inside the propolis. Ah, yeah, yeah. So it? they don't use wax to store the yeah, honey, they use wax, prop propolis. propolis. So it's wow. too safe. Yeah. It won't get uh, contact with the uh, oxygen, uh, air and all. Yeah, it's or especially the moisture in the air. Yeah, it won't, uh, it's in small, small uh, bowl. Once it is filled, they'll close it. They will, uh -huh. they will start building another like this. Yeah. Yeah, you seen it here? Yeah. So light. this is a, a cell, yeah. and this is a cell made just out of propolis. Let me just turn you around there towards the camera. That's basically a cell from propolis, and that's where they... Oh yeah, he's biting me. Yeah, he started biting. <laughs> so we can... That doesn't even hurt. <laughs> this is really funny, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> this is where we will open uh, it. Yeah. Okay. We remove... remove. See, see here. You can hold it. Yeah, okay, sir. Okay. So this then is all the honey, yeah. which is about 300, 300 grams, I would estimate. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
nearly 300 to 400 grams. Yeah, you can. That's amazing. And this is a very medicinal, medicinal very, very pricey, very pricey honey. honey. Uh -huh. Okay, it's very simple. We finished with the harvesting of this hive. That was it. Yeah. Amazing. Ma ma <laughs> maybe good. after three months, yeah. we can collect it again. And did you put another pipe inside? Yeah, after collecting honey, we'll. Oh, you can. just bring it back and you put yeah, it back inside. <laughs> ah, okay. Well. For just we have to knock like this. Yeah. You can see. The small bees will go out very soon. Okay. So, so almost we finish with. Yeah, because they only fly about 100, 200 meters. 100, eh? 200 meters. Okay, so the next step then is to take out the honey. Honey. Either we can just keep it in sunlight for uh, 40, 50 minutes. Yeah. The honey will uh, the break with sun sunlight and it, it will come automatic. Uh -huh. If otherwise, we can cut it with use of steel spoons. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. So. So if you keep it in the sun, the honey will ju it just melts and yeah. the honey will run yeah. out. Mm. So, if it get touched with our body, it, it, it can get damaged. So when we take honey, always. How do you mean? If you explain that again, our Once body is touched with honey. Please. Okay, explain that now. Okay, okay, start again. So what? If our body or yeah. our fingers get touched with honey, it yeah. can get spoiled fast. If ah, so don't touch it with your fingers. Fingers. Okay. So now we finish with this. It smells one. great. Yeah, yeah, you can taste it. Uh, you can take some. Uh, yeah, let me give it. Yeah. yeah, look, I'll just take a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. That's amazing. Mm, this is amazing. Wow. It's very... Mm. Really, really nice. So if you had a little press, you could actually just put it into the press and then it would just yeah. extract all the honey. Normally what we lose, you keep it in sunlight. That's the best the way. The best to, way, yeah. okay. Yeah. So, if there are any moisture content, that mm. one also will go off. If there are any water content on air or so. Okay, yeah. So for how long uh, would you leave it in the sunlight? Just maybe... Maybe one hour or two One hour and it would just run through. Okay. Not... See, you got like 200 to 300 millis of honey already. Wow, it's amazing. So meaning, so all will come out. Uh, so if you have a couple of hundred hives, this yeah. is a lot of honey. Yeah, a lot of honey. And I don't know if I mentioned it already, but this honey is worth about maybe per kilo about 60, 70 dollars. Yeah, 60, 70 dollars. If you sold it here, so yes. about 3,000 yeah. uh, rupees. Yes. And you were saying yesterday if you sold it... In the Middle East or Gulf countries, it cost yeah. around... Uh, uh, 10,000. Uh, uh, yeah, ten, that means around 130 dollars or 140 dollars. For just a kilo of this honey. Four, four kilo. Wow, amazing. It's hard. It's a very simple way to harvest it and I, I, yeah. I must say what you guys have done with this uh, design okay. has made it that easy. That yeah, what your yeah. father has actually done yeah, done. has made it really a workable uh, beehive as well. Okay, we've... Take this. Proceed. So we finished with uh, harvesting this, this box without disturbing yeah. bees and all. Oh. Wow. So no bees get killed so far. Yeah. That's so the main benefit of this box. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So after harvesting the honey, mm -hmm. yeah. we'll get this, this kind of propolis yeah. from stingless bees. So we'll, there is no honey inside now. Mm. So we, we kept together in an open place. Mm -hmm. Okay. So stingless bees can come and collect yeah. the propolis if, if if they they're low on propolis in yeah. their own hive, they can yeah. actually just take it. Yeah. After okay. uh, two uh, two weeks or three weeks, it will be very little. Okay, they've they taken it all, eh? All. <laughs> okay, wow. Very little, uh. little. You can yeah. see some uh, nectar. And this dis this bee has no disease virtually. Yeah, no diseases. So it's you can do nearly it, like it's almost indestructible. Yeah. You were showing me a hive that has been there for thirty years, and yeah. it just changes its own queen, but yeah. it's just happy out. Yeah, happy out. Oh. If we can keep it for 100 years, nothing will happen to stingless bees. Just the box might yeah. rot yeah. <laughs> at that stage. <laughs> That's great. Wow. So this is... A, we can test it. Uh -huh. This is a bit of pollen, I think. Yeah, it's a pollen. Yeah, yeah. 
Mm, that is plant. It's plant. Oh from my god, the plant is amazing. Yeah, it's from small, small trees. Wow. The plants, the medicinal one. Mmm. Mmm, the propolis is nice too. Mm. Ah, you've got some Indian bees now yeah, coming yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. They're helping themselves as well. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs>